Hello everybody! I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul today and I bought these items yesterday. Uh, today's Friday and uh, I, I went to a Dollar Tree that's not, not, near, not one of the ones near my house, it was further away and it's but it's still in eastern Pennsylvania southeastern Pennsylvania so first of all look at this <laughs> how fun is that it's like it looks like it's made out of wood paneling but it's not and uh, you know it's like done like day of the dead style and I thought that would be fun to hang on the front door I love Halloween but I don't usually buy Halloween decorations but I was having so much fun at this place they had they had these I didn't get any of the house ones but they had they had house boxes but they also had uh, it's this says it's a treat box I didn't take the sticker off yet but it says happy Halloween and boop, look who's inside giving you a heart so they had two other kinds like this one had um, a vampire in it and one had a zombie in it and the the outside of the box looked different too and they had three or four different kinds of house boxes uh, they were cute but I didn't have anything I wanted to do with them so here's one <laughs> look at that look how pretty this decoration is around the bottom and inside it has like a little saying I think it says spells ah boo spooky ghouls boo spells ah Halloween you know it just says the same thing over and over again but little spiders inside and that one's that one's a kind of a scary looking pumpkin guy and oh here's the other pumpkin guy I got they had they had three or four different ones so this one's a little bigger and I thought I could put them on the table together kind of like this or, or like this. I don't know. I thought it would be cute. But here's what the side looks like. And here's the inside. It's got all little pictures of pumpkins and spider webs. And this says, Happy Halloween. <laughs> Sorry, Happy Halloween. So you could just have this somewhere, like, you know. There's lots of different ideas. You could have like you could have like this sitting open on your desk with some candy in it. You could have this hanging somewhere where it says Happy Halloween, you know. Whatever you felt like doing, but I was thinking I would probably put it on the table. Kind of yeah, I already said that. <laughs> They're just too cute. So more cute things I saw was <laughs> Look at this candy bowl. Look at that. It's like it's just a plain it's just a plain plastic bowl, but look how happy that cat is. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh so much. But I got something to go with. I got it because... <laughs> Where do you see... I can't get it out. Where do you see these? What do they say they are? Skeleton tongs. Look. <laughs> I'm going to take them apart so I can just see how they work. I was having too much fun there. I really wanted to spend more money, but I thought I can't justify spending this much money even at the dollar store because I spent I spent about $33 there this time and I usually don't go over 15 or 20. But there was so many cute things. <laughs> Look there and they're the two different side hands, so they definitely got that right. And it's a nice it's a nice it's a pretty thick, hard plastic. It's not brittle. I guess it's so you could pick up salad or popcorn. Or I don't know what you could pick up with it. But it's just... <laughs> it's just too funny. How funny is that? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think it would be funnier to just kind of pop it in there, sticking straight up with the... <laughs> oh, what if you had it in your front yard and it was like... And you had a... Um, a headstone there and you had these hands coming out of the ground like maybe one lower than the other I don't know it's too funny though oops let me put that down I feel like a little kid with this stuff and then another thing this doesn't look really practical but <laughs> it's I guess it's a bowl that's like a spider web with a 
there's two spiders on it. They had different colors. They had black and orange, but I thought the purple was, I thought the purple was the coolest looking one. It's like, it's a little bendy on these parts, but like it's, part of it feels hard and part of it feels rubbery. I don't know. Like maybe you could put, you know what you could do is you could, you could put maybe tissue paper in there or, or put it with another bowl inside of it so that people could, st I don't know what you could do, but look at it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so excited. It's just so funny looking, look at it. Maybe you could stick it in the corner of the, the corner of the room or something. I don't know. It's not like I'm saying, it's not very practical for a bowl. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even good for a hat. Maybe it's a mask. You know what I was happy about though, is that they had a lot of, um, costume pieces nice to be able to or or even just for your kids for play from for for make-believe you know there's all kinds of uh capes and light up wands and and little masks and little hats and things i saw at the dollar store so so that was nice so let me i got some food things here i got warheads for my youngest son because he likes those and I got these white cheddar cheese it's it's a four pack so like you open it and there's there's four little bags in there and they're each 0.75 ounces so three quarters of an ounce and I got these for me again I think other people are eating them too but I like animal crackers because they have less sugar in them than than regular cookies I do have other things here besides food, but I want to get through the food first. I got my husband some sugar-free chewy caramels this time. See if he likes those. And I got him the sugar-free Chico sticks again because he did like those last time. And my middle son, I got sweet tart ropes. He likes those. He likes those. He likes those. So, my husband said we needed more salt and pepper shakers. New salt and pepper shakers because for a while we've been using just, you know, when you go to the store and you can get the, the ones that are already filled with salt and pepper. But I wanted to get ones that are sturdy enough I can stick them in the dishwasher. So, there's some salt and pepper shakers, glass with metal on the top and they're made in China, like I think everything is. And I got these again this time, the Rubbermaid take-alongs, they're good for, I don't get them every time, I just get them every once in a while when the other ones wear out. So we can put leftovers in there for people to take to lunch, for lunch to work. Oh, I do have a little bit more food little bit more food and then a little bit other stuff I got these peanuts which I opened already because I I was hungry but um they're dry roasted nature's house dry roasted salted peanuts and they have um they have peanuts sea salt cornstarch and paprika so they're the kind that are a little gritty and they're they're the small peanuts but you know it's good for a dollar and I was hungry at the time. I got two of these for my middle son. He loves these, like I, I've mentioned that before. Rockstar Punched, I think it's an energy drink. And I got one of these. It's the flavored, it's the flavored sparkling water. And this one's called Cherry Limeade uh, Ice Brand. And I bought, <laughs> I bought these again. De -de 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 Some hot tamales. Well, they're not that hot. They're um, they're the 99% fat-free chicken tamales, and my husband and I love them. So, and we just had them. I guess. Oh, we. It was one of the things we had on Sunday when I got back from Texas. Like he made that with all the other Mexican stuff he made. He made the burritos and stuff. So, here's something really cool that I found. 
and I got I got five of these but I gave myself one already so you're only gonna see four of these but they're all different kinds <laughs> Pokemon pens look so um, I I gave I got myself the they get so they got the original starters from the first Pokemon game okay so that is Squirtle uh, Bulbasaur and Charmander. I couldn't think of his name. And of course, I'm a Bulbasaur. I'm a Bulbasaur person. So I already have a Bulbasaur pen and it writes well. The one that I got has black ink, so I'm not sure if all these have black ink. This says find all five styles, but I only found four. I guess the fifth one is Pikachu. So that probably sold out in the regular stores, but I thought these would be cute for um, putting in the stockings you know stocking stuffers at Christmas time so I also got one of these containers so I can put stocking stuffers in there until until Christmas time so there's that I got dividers those page those page protectors I got before I, I used them to um, store my stickers so I thought I'd use these to put between them I mean, maybe I'll show it to you sometime, but this just in general, I have <laughs> I have a notebook from the dollar store and I put the page protectors in here and then I have different kinds of stickers in each page protector. Like one's holidays, one's animals, etc., etc. If you want to know about that, let me know and I'll I'll do a little video about that. I'm not the most organized person, but I have a little bit of organization. And I also found, you know, they have those, they have shopping bags there. And I found <laughs> Goofy. Goofy's my favorite. Goofy's my favorite Disney character. Now these bags are not always the greatest, but I thought, <laughs> let's face it, I didn't think anything. All I saw was Goofy. <laughs> That's all I needed to see was Goofy, and I was so excited. So... Let's make sure. Yeah, that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll talk to you again soon.